In two studies published today in the journal Science, researchers at Scripps Research and UCSD say they've pinpointed the origin of COVID-19 and that it jumped from animal hosts to humans at least two dozen times. Christian Anderson is a professor of immunology and microbiology at Scripps Research. He says data analysis shows the virus originated from a market in Wuhan, China. Well, all this evidence tells us the same thing. It points right to this particular market in the middle of Wuhan, which is with the early suspected place where this pandemic actually started. That's not new information, but what the research shows is that it's highly unlikely that the virus came from a lab. Moreover, he says the evidence shows a zoonotic origin, that is, the virus jumped from animals to humans. And one of the candidates is the raccoon dogs, a wild member of the dog family common in mainland East Asia. It is also named because of the resemblance to the common raccoon. I'll say the reason why raccoon dogs is one of the main suspects here is that we did find SARS-1, for example, in raccoon dogs during the SARS-1 epidemic. So that's why it was one of the highly suspect ones. In his paper, UCSD graduate researcher Jonathan Picar says the virus may have jumped to humans two dozen times before two lineages emerged that caused the pandemic. And for lineage B, it came... It probably came first, but we time it to be to being introduced around November 18th, a little bit before, a little bit after, but that's just roughly around there, late November. And then lineage A would have been introduced within weeks of that. He says there is no evidence the virus was prevalent before December 2019. Researchers were able to determine that using molecular clock simulation, basically tracking the mutation rate of the virus in reverse. While much of the information is not new, Picard says understanding how the virus emerged would help us better prepare for and prevent the next pandemic-causing virus. Alexander Wynn, KPPS News.